every connection to God is an enlistment for greatness. So everyone who is a believer is enlisted for greatness. Now the reason why sometimes it appears that the expectation takes time is because you've refused to learn. So this crisis in your life is oh God, is not meant to punish you. It's meant to punish you. When you understand that, you will go through that phase with joy. There are people that pray like thunder, speaking tongues like incantation. They just walk so pious like a ghost. But when they open their mouth, humanity. We are in the generation that needs to be told the truth. What dimension of anointing now will I bring that? What no, what will happen here that I have not seen before? Thank you for watching the video to this far. I have a book for you in the description and title. Get this book from Amazon or send a free donation to the number on the screen and I'll forward a soft copy to you wherever and find yourself. Always remember, a winners never quit, a greatest never win. Yes, you can. In Psalm 66 verse 3, he said, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to thee. Greatness is in God. Yes. In Psalm 79, if you read verse 11, he said, According to the greatness of thy power, you have preserved those who were appointed to die. In Psalm 71, verse 21, he said, God shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. In Psalm 145, if you read verse 3, he said the greatness of God is unsearchable. So everyone who is a believer is enlisted for greatness. In Genesis 26 verse 13, speaking of Isaac, the Bible said the man was great and went forward and grew until it became very great so that tells me greatness is not behind you greatness is in front of you i say your greatness is in front of you whatever happened in the past cut it off your greatness is in front of you whatever happened last year cut it off your greatness is in front of you whatever happened months ago cut it off your greatness is in front of you your greatness is not behind you your past is your history your future is your destiny your greatness is in front of you i say your greatness is in front of you i say your greatness is in front of you lift your words and shout my greatness is in front of me be seated ezekiel said my eyes are open to see the character, the elements of a generation of people that the Almighty is raising, and these are men who are great in their rights. You must understand in Genesis 3, verse 23 and 24, he said, And God took man out of the garden. In verse 24 he said and God kept a flaming sword listen to hear this hear this hear this maybe you've not seen that before God didn't keep the flaming sword to protect the garden yes sir yes sir he kept the flaming sword to protect the tree of knowledge of good and evil yes, sir. man would have had access to that tree but God wanted man to have access to it at the right time Which I'm talking to somebody here. There are things that God wants you to have access to, but He wants you to mature. Sit down. Let me show you something. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Sometimes when a woman 
is believing God for the fruit of the womb is nothing to God to give a baby but what God wants to give to her is beyond the baby Hannah never knew how to fast it was a waiting that taught her how to fast so beyond the baby God wanted to teach her spiritual virtue now the reason why sometimes it appears that the expectation takes time is because you've refused to learn the heavens say have we achieved the purpose of this temptation this trial he said no he said keep them there until they learn so when you've learned patience you've learned virtue you've learned how to depend on God not on the doctor you've learned how to believe God for signs not science and your heart is open to him because now the baby comes no, I can tell you that I can prove that to you I can yeah Abraham goes into Egypt and God sees the king of Egypt and Abraham lies to the king that Sarah is his sister yeah and the king takes in Sarah into the palace and God makes the king impotent if Sarah was not productive the king wouldn't be impotent So it was not about it was not about fruitfulness it was about learning virtue if you think abraham was impotent ask Hagar. so if all of these are in place both of them are, so what what was god intending to achieve to make abraham get to that point of dependence dependence on God so this crisis in your life is oh God is not meant to punish you it's meant to polish you when you understand that you will go through that phase with joy am I communicating take your seat greatness has an attitude and as it here began to understand and explain what is the attitude success as a character there are things we see in people's life and we can predict where they are going your character is the prophecy of your destiny you cannot behave it and not become it you cannot behave it and not become it how you behave is where you become you're going through this means you're going to he said I saw their character I saw the attitude of these people it's a generation of men and women God is enlisting for greatness and everyone in this place today right here in Atlanta God has called you into greatness and the devil can't stop you God has called you into greatness and the power of hell can't stop you imaginations of the wicked can stop you the bible says it disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise Amen. am i communicating now associate yourself all ye people you shall be broken to pieces speak the word you shall not stand for elohim is with us am i communicating i have created the smith that blows the coal to the fire i've created the waster to destroy so no weapon formed against thee shall prosper every tongue that rises up against the judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of god and the righteousness is of me you don't serve the god you are mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the, the same, same forever. forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power Favor is, is on, on your side. side. Victory is on, your, on side. your side. Favor is on your side. Somebody shout yes. Shout 
transition and the whole story of Jesus. Mary was more physical. She was, she was actually there, even at his death. Where was Joseph? I didn't like his character because he was never absent. He was never present. Absentee father. I'm sorry if that sounds harsh, but that's, that's how I saw him. I kept looking for him. Until I found something. My God picked him. the angel. Because as far as I'm concerned, God cannot lie. He said, but not to make a public example. There are things you don't do, not because you are not hurt, but because you don't want to transfer your hurt. Because hurting people, we always hurt others. There are people that pray like thunder. Speaking tongues like incantations. They just walk so pious like a ghost. But when they open their mouth, humanity. We are in the generation that needs to be told the truth.
first face of a man. Human. says no. He says submit. He says submit. Sir, it takes the Holy Ghost to stay married though. Scripture says submit. pastors so I kept quiet he did another one so I called him on phone and what I would have told him publicly I told him on phone I said this now I would have told you publicly let me tell you on phone I can talk you into depression I said if I reply you you won't sleep I said it's not you it's not you your wife will see that video your children will see it Christians will see it some people will applaud me Good response, perfect response. There's some other people who say, Why? This is so, let's fight on the phone. I said, So let's back that thing you said. Let's talk. Oh, yeah, but they kept quiet. I was say, Hello, are you still there? Are you still there? I said, Just imagine this thing that you are quite like this. If I'd said it publicly, I said, Stop this fight, stop it. This is not necessary when you are only thinking of yourself. Only thinking of there are three things about humanity. Number one, compassion. Nothing sponsors expansion like compassion. If you want to see expansion in life, you must have compassion. Mark 6 34. He was moved with compassion. Compassion. Number two, humility. Humility. In First Peter chapter five and verse five, the Bible says, "Be clothed with humility." 
in Proverbs 15 33 Proverbs 18 12 he said before honor is humility James 4 verse 6 said God resisted the proud sir the number one enemy of a proud man is God God says it's not your village it's not the witchcraft in your I am the one after you pride and the third proof of humanity is love love greater love has no man than this The proof that we love God is that we love his children. <laughs> Take your seat. Take your seat. Someone sent me, I was talking to someone, he, he was in a relationship with somebody for nine years. <laughs> we are planning to get married. Nine years. Believing God, having a vision to marry a dream. You know, when a dream becomes too long, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Nine years. So, as a concerned father, I reached out to him. I said, don't you think it's time? Said, it's time. Can you? What's the problem? He gave me some flimsy stuff. I said, Nine years. So I said, I'm calling support. If after this time you don't get it done, she got angry, stopped the church. Nobody tells me what to do. If you don't know what to do, we need to tell you what to do. <laughs> Nobody tell me what to do. He got angry. And he sent me a long message. Called me all kinds of names. You can't control me. You want to dictate. You are not my boss. I know what I'm doing. Said everything. I didn't say a word. It takes a lot of energy to respond. So he came. Next one, he kneels down. Forgive me. I said, I forgive you. He said, just like that. No, you didn't forgive me. <laughs> he left. I said, hold him. Come back. Why are you? All I said, I said, yeah, I can't remember most things you said. And he came and he said, forgive me. I said, I forgive you. While he was going, I said, come back. When is the wedding? <laughs> say all you want to say. You must get married. You know, there are so many of you who still remember what somebody said against you 10 years ago. Ah! March 11, 7 p.m. You have a journal. You have a journal. Have you seen people's journal? negativity negativity let it go listen forgiveness doesn't make the forgiven powerful it makes the forgiver free it doesn't make the forgiven powerful it makes the forgiver free now look at somebody on your left and right and tell them forgive Tell them forgive, forgive, forgive. Tell that man by your side, forgive. Number two, he said the second character is that they had the face of a lion. There are times to act as a lamb. But there are times to react as a lion. The lamb of the world is to the of the tribe of Judah. We are in a generation where the lionic nature of God has to be unveiled through the church. Am I communicating right now? In Psalm 120 and 7, David said, I am for peace, but when I speak they are for war we are in a generation where the lionic nature of the church has to be unveiled i like what the bible says the other day jesus said to them who did you go to see a reed shaken by the wind
because they came and they said John has been arrested John the Baptist was waiting for Jesus to bring him out of jail and Jesus was waking, waiting for John to walk out of jail the lionic nature of God in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5 he said weep no more for the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David has prevailed to open the book and to loosen the seals there are time to act as a lamb and there are time to react as a lion you are the child of a lion am I communicating now there is something about your life there is a grace upon your head you are called into authority you are called into dominion exercise that dominion over sickness and disease exercise that dominion over the works of wickedness exercise that dominion over the cowards of hell exercise that dominion over the force of witchcraft i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it hear me and hear me well have you not known have you not heard that the everlasting god the creator of the ends of the earth neither fainted nor is he weary for there is no searching there is understanding he giveth power to the faith the young man may fall and the youth may fail but they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall walk and not go weary they shall run take your seat take your seat listen a witch listen a 12 year old witch 12 year who's about to be promoted to the next cater in the witchcraft world is giving an assignment to cause infirmity in a whole city he said that is what you will do to get to the next queda of your promotion 12 years and she does some things and blows into the atmosphere, blows into the atmosphere and there's an epidemic breaking out on people's skin and you have been in church for 20 years no power <laughs> Do you know, do you know, if this were to be a government, people will appear in their elements. People will appear in their elements. Some will appear on their heads. Some will appear like a spoon. Some will appear as a box. And it will not, they will, they will not consider it a miracle. It's a normal thing. It will be, you know, what we call the called supernatural, they call spectacular. It will be spectacular to them. It will be normal. Aya! It will be normal. The church has become so powerless. Talk, 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 talk. No power! People are shouting revival, revival. They are shouting revival, revival. No manifestation! People talk about realms and a dimension how angels appeared how they sat down with angels when they see all those kind of things you sit down expecting to see heaven come down no. you sit down high sounding words that bamboozle people with high sounding grammar and vowels power of diction they have mastered the art of public speaking am i talking to somebody here you have good oratory display you bamboozle people with four wells and grammars and diction and at the end elementary manifestations people are going home one of my sons finished preaching and he was he worshiped the lord and was trying to get a word from the lord no no message no prophecy so they say people have been trying to go worship and i didn't get nothing from the lord so there's no word some motions when they unlocked the door Say father, say, father, what have we done? Lord, what have we done? That we got that and you didn't speak to us. What have we done, Lord? Why no word? We came to yet excellent words. Why no word? What have we done? Pam! In the midst of that anger, the prophetic fell. You know what some others would have done? It is well. 
churches will grow if they start flogging pastors who are not doing well. Hold on, hold on, let me show you. Let me show you something. In the days of the king and the priest, as soon as a hold on, as soon as a woman in Second Kings ran to the king and said, "Save me," this woman said, "We will boil her son and eat it, and tomorrow we'll boil my son." You know the king said, "Elijah's Elisha's head shall be." Elisha didn't boil the son. Elisha was not there when they had that agreement. But that king knew that Elisha can't be here and this happening. Elisha can't be here. I can't have a prophet and I'm stranded. It takes that 